We've recently seen that a lot of people are beginning to pay more attention to huffing. Uh, there's always something in the news about huffing. Recently, we see nitrous oxide in whippets, where people are inhaling these. Essentially, it's a chemical, and what it does is it has a very short-term effect. It produces a very intense high for a very short period of time. In the long term, however, it has a very negative impact on the person's brain and on their liver, that when we inhale chemicals, when we... So the two key telltale signs of addiction or drug abuse are physical and emotional. So physically, you notice that there are profound changes in the person, changes in the way that they dress, changes in the way that they take care of themselves, physical changes, there could be changes in their body weight, they could either be gaining a lot of weight or losing a lot of weight. And emotionally, you want to look at their behavior, you want to look at mood swings, are they experiencing really high highs and really low lows? Also, you want to look at irritability, is the person really irritable? Are they defensive? Are they, if you bring up the topic of drug addiction or drug use, do they get incredibly defensive about it? So those two things are the key factors that you should be looking for. This phys these physical changes and these emotional reactions and these emotional changes in the person. A compelling reason to risk your life, risk your health, and uh, risk your future. So the reasons why people are doing it are complicated and profound and typically involve lack of judgment and poor impulses and an enormous amount of peer pressures from their friends. So. Find, find a trusted adult, find somebody who you can reach out and ask for help. There's help available to you and you don't have to be inhaling these chemicals and you don't have to be harming your body or your mind.